Google Docs is a fantastic tool to use in your teaching for collaborative work. So just go to um, Google and then you can type in Docs. And that'll take you, the top one will take you straight to the Google Docs page. Just put go, go to Google Docs. So this will be your main page. Um, you do need to make sure you've got a Google account, so just check mine that's up there. I'm already logged in. Um, if not, it's very easy to create one. So you can choose some templates, or you can just go and start a blank one. So that's what I'll do. And my students this week, um, they did healthy bodies. And they had to, in a science lesson, um, do a facts page basically about all the different food groups. So if we pretend this is the carbohydrate group. So just give it a name. You might want to do the letter number to at the top of them to create a fact sheet about food groups. So just type that one in there. Um, you might want to put in the name. Um, just basically set up your own template for the children and then you can leave it as basic as that if you want. Now this is how you share. Go to your share. Really really nice and simple and then what you can either do is get a shareable link, click on that, um, you can basically um, share that with your students if you have um, an email list so just copy that into the email and say students please um, use this and then you would email it to the ones that are in the um, carbohydrates group. Um, the best way to do it though is if you go to people. Um, so just click in there and then you either put your classes names in or their email addresses and it will send them a link um, and invite them to the document. Um, you do need to make sure in your contacts you have all of your students um, emails. Um, if you don't Put in the email addresses manually, it will take a while on the first time, but once you've done it the first time, um, that'll be fine. So I can't actually do this now for you, um, because of obviously the student's um, confidentiality. So let's just pretend I've put in four students to be working on this carbohydrates group. What happens is, um, at the top of the page here, um, you'll see the four um, letters of their first name and they can basically just work on it together they can put in their own facts they can put in pictures um, and they can work separately um, they don't even have to be in the same room um, just working together to create something and it's just such a nice collaborative tool really really simple to use um, so when you've shared that then you'd make your um, fats group um, your protein group uh, completely up to you how you do it. I would recommend about four in a group, maybe five um, as a maximum. Um, I've tried it with the whole class and it's just too many people um, working together on the same document. So that's um, a really simple um, how to use um, Google Docs. Um, just the last thing I do want to mention, as a teacher you can, um, you'll be also involved in this. You can help them um, you can put in your own information, but also you can um, put in comments. Okay, so you write a comment, okay. So highlight a word, and you want to comment. If they've made a mistake, you might want to put um, a comment in there. So let's just put, um, check this, and then you comment. And then this will come up on the student's work, and they'll go check this. When they're happy with that, resolve and it will um, automatically update or they can put in a little reply as well. Um, there's some really, really nice um, features on Google Docs. Thank you.